was very charming and willing to hang out with me and spend time with me and spend a lot of attention on me. Like he, he, he was very attentive. Well, she really made me feel like this is our place, this is our little nest and, and you're my prince on the white horse and I'm gonna treat you like you've always wanted to be treated and I'll pamper you and all that stuff. So it was the best thing that you can imagine. In the beginning of the relationship, it will be all love, 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 love. You are put on a pedestal and you really feel like you have met your real soulmate because they will tune into you in whatever you like, they will like. At least they will say so. So if you like the color red, in the beginning of the relationship, they love the color red. In the end, you will find out they hate red, but anyway. So in the beginning, they really act like you're a perfect, perfect match. But only as long as they think it's necessary to get you. So that stage will depend on how long it to take them to get her into their power and control. So you can say that it's going all well until you get married or until you will be pregnant or until you are at least within their control and they think you can't get out anymore. So whatever way, then it will stop. Things start to change quite quickly after a couple of weeks. Um, I guess two, three weeks, the first signs started coming. We, would, we wouldn't go out as much anymore, we'd just stay in the house. I think it had to happen gradually or else it would have been too noticeable and then I would have checked out earlier, but because it happened so slowly, I, I was taken for a loop, really. It started with him criticizing everything I did, from me parenting my son, to my work, to the way I looked, my friends, even the way I organized the dishes, I had to do it in exact the same way he did it, otherwise he'd explode. She would put me down quite a lot, you know, like, um you're not that great a musician because otherwise you would have made it already. Um, you know, you're trying to make this Indian dish, but you know, this is not the way an, uh, an Indian dish should, should be. She, she would criticize most of my life, actually. You know, new pants, new haircut. Everything from how you talk to how you dress to the choices that you make to the people that you hang out with, the TV that you watch, the music that you listen to. The, the, you know, the, the way you look at people on the street. He critiqued everything. In the beginning, I used to go against it, or how do you say that? Just, you know, it's, well, not start a fight, but just, you know, like, gave me my own space and stuff. But at, the, the more time progresses, the more you think, well, you know, j these are just some rules. It's, there's something with her that makes her do this kind of thing. I don't care where I put the shoes, I'll put the shoes wherever I want to wherever she wants me to put them. And I didn't really feel anything about that anymore. I just did it, you know, like a, a puppy or something. But when I would drive home, I would think, you know, she, she's crossing some lines or something. I felt something was wrong, but I didn't exactly, like abuse felt like such a strong word. Even when he became physical, it still didn't feel real because he made it a like his business to make me not believe my memories. He was very, very like, you shouldn't believe your own memories. You should believe what I tell you, you know? So even when something happened to me, I still didn't believe it happened to me. The narcissist divides all people into two basic groups. Those who can provide him with narcissistic supply on a regular basis, high-grade narcissistic supply, unmitigated, unadulterated with criticism or disagreement, or and those who cannot. Those who cannot are devalued and discarded. Those who can are groomed, nurtured, maintained, until they no longer provide narcissistic supply. In the end, it's all about energy. 
Narcissists are feeling empty inside, so they need other people's energy to fill them up. And they try to do that with um, getting emotions out of somebody else. And it can be emotion as love, it can be emotion as fear, it can be lots of different emotions. But in the end, they always try to manipulate you to get something out of you, some emotion. Um, when she abused me, it made me feel mostly like it was all my fault. That I did this to myself. That she was there in my life for a reason and that reason was to change me because I, I'm an asshole and without her I would stay the asshole unless I listened to her and, and and uh, behaved the way she told me to behave, then I would be, become a better person. So it made me feel like, well, not worthless, but like I had to be grateful to her because she discovered those things in me that were not okay. And she was there to change them for me, as long as I listened to her. The first thing that changed was my feeling, I guess. He had helped me after I moved back to the Netherlands and let me stay at his house for like two or three weeks until I had my own place. And it was a hard time for me, you know, re rebuilding my life from scratch, uh, being a single mom, but he was taking credit for it. Um, when we got into a relationship, he was constantly saying like he made me. Uh, it is even weird to repeat that, knowing how hard I worked to start up my new life here. Uh, he was saying that I wouldn't have accomplished anything without him and would rub that into my face whenever there was an argument. I was actually feeling quite proud of myself, of how well I dealt with that situation because I came here into this country with nothing. But it was like he wanted to take that pride away from me. I had to be thankful, which of course I was, but even thankful to him for the things I accomplished myself. The abuse was detrimental to my self-esteem. Like, if I had any when I entered the relationship, I had none when I left it. Like, honestly, he annihilated any piece of self-esteem I still had left. He made me feel very small and insecure and in the long term he made me lose my self-esteem and my self-worth and everything that was important to me it seemed to be gone after a while 